Hello, my name is Noelle Cross and I am currently a sophomore serving as president of the Black River FCCLA chapter. My name is Logan Clifford. I'm currently a sophomore serving as the vice president of member outreach of the Black River FCCLA chapter. The national program and action topic we chose was Stop the Violence. Through this national program, chapter members use peer-to-peer -peer outreach to reach their peers with violence prevention education, recognize the warning signs of potential youth violence, encourage young people to report troubling behavior, collaborate with school and community resources to address youth violence, and develop and implement local action projects to reduce the potential for violence in their school. The concern we recognize for our project is not only an issue in our school, county, community, or state. Domestic violence is a worldwide problem. Approximately one in three women and nearly one in six men will experience some form of domestic violence in their lifetime. One in three women and one in six men. These statistics are alarming and are only increasing as time progresses. To help solve this problem, we decided to do a national program and action project focusing on domestic violence, as it is a very personal topic for us. Our concern is that people in our community are not well informed of the signs and risks of a domestically abusive relationship. To fix that, we made a goal to inform our peers and community of the signs, risks, and effects of a domestically abusive relationship. We want them to be able to recognize the warning signs of an abusive relationship, know who to reach out to in order to feel safe, and be able to prevent themselves and others from experiencing an abusive relationship in their lifetime. The National Family Consumer Sciences Standard 13.0 states to demonstrate respectful and caring relationships in the family, workplace, and community. We want people to develop healthy relationships with one another in all aspects of their lives. We also want them to be able to recognize the warning signs of a violent relationship and know what to do. Our shirts represent a young mother named Emily Young. Emily was a victim of a domestic violence relationship and it ended up costing her her life. Emily had three little girls who are now being raised by Emily's mother and father, Debbie and Jimmy Young, close friends and relatives such as my family. This tragedy has impacted our community greatly. And since then, I've been very passionate about raising awareness for domestic violence and relationships. We evaluated our project as we completed it, keeping track of how many people attended each event and how we carried out our plan for each individual event. Before we could begin, we had to first plan our events. Planning is an important aspect to any good project because without a plan, the event will be unorganized and ineffective. For our first event, we plan to bring speakers into the Family Consumer Sciences classroom at our school. Mrs. Demchuk, our FCS teacher, teaches 105 out of the 284 students in our building. Debbie Young, the mother of Emily Young, and Morgan Broadsword, Emily's best friend, came to speak to each class. They volunteered so it would be completely free for our chapter. We plan to host it in the Black River Family Consumer Sciences classroom on October 3rd, 2019. We completed the plan and it was a very successful day. Debbie and Morgan shared Emily's story I discussed the warning signs that they saw and how to prevent tragedies like this in the future. Our peers enjoyed hearing Emily's story and how it affected those around her. They also saw the documentary on Emily's story that a local Tri-C college student filmed on Vimeo. Overall, if we could change anything, we would have Debbie and Morgan speak in a school-wide assembly so that their story could reach even more people. Our goal for our project was to not only impact our school, but our community as well. In order to do this, we hosted an event called Volley Against Violence. Volley Against Violence is a high school volleyball game focused on domestic violence and sharing Emily's story with the community. We plan to partner with the high school volleyball program to make this a more impactful event. We plan to host it on October 3rd, 2019 and estimated the cost to be about $20 for decorations. Our chapter decided to best serve our community in this event by making posters and hanging them up in the gym passing out purple ribbons to the spectators, hosting a Wear Purple Day the day of the game, and giving the announcers facts and statistics to read between games and timeouts. We predicted our challenges for this event, event would be getting our community, students, and teachers excited about the game. In order to combat these challenges, we sent out daily reminders being via the Remind app, and we hosted our Wear Purple Day the day of the game.
About 20 members volunteered to help with this event, and it was a very successful night. It was very inspirational to see so many students volunteer to help with such an impactful event. For the third phase of our project, we wanted to impact our members on a deeper and more personal level. Our FCCLA chapter is like a family, so we wanted to reach them the best that we possibly could. We decided to lead an FCCLA chapter meeting focusing on domestic violence awareness. Prior to the meeting, we created magnets, a slideshow, and a Kahoot game. We wanted to make sure the members stayed engaged while also learning. For admission to the meeting, members brought items to donate to Safe Haven, a domestic violence shelter in Ashland, Ohio. Safe Haven values compassion, collaboration, teamwork, safety and shelter, accountability, passion, and trained staff. They provide shelter to survivors of domestic violence and stalking. During the meeting, we shared a slideshow presentation about the warning signs and effects of domestic violence. We also shared what to do if you or someone you know is in a violent relationship. We also played a Kahoot game to review what we had talked about. Additionally, we passed out these magnets for members to share with friends and to keep in their lockers. On the magnets is the National Hotline for Domestic Violence, as well as common red flags in relationships. The meeting was very successful and we enjoyed teaching our peers about domestic violence and what they can do to help the cause. If we were to change anything, we would make the meeting longer so that we would have time to practice scenarios and review skits with the members. Overall, this project has been very impactful to our community as well as to both of us. We were able to teach our peers about the warning signs and dangers of domestically abusive relationships, hopefully preventing them or those around them from experiencing these in the future. It is comforting for me to know that we have made such a positive impact in the lives of those around us. As we explained, our ultimate goal for our project was to reach as many people as possible with Emily's story. In order to prove that we accomplished this goal, we sent out surveys to our classmates regarding the Volley Against Violence game. Here's one of their responses. The question was, what did you learn about domestic violence from the three events? And the answer was, I learned signs of domestic violence, ways to deal with it, and ways to help other people who are dealing with it. This proves that we met our goal and completed our project. Additionally, this project has helped us grow as individuals. We have learned the importance of planning and time management. Personally, I have learned how to plan ahead in order to help things run smoothly. I've also seen that hard work truly does pay off and that you can always make an impact with others. Although it takes time and work, you should always share what you're passionate about with those around you. Thank you for your time today and for encouraging FCCLA members to continue making positive changes in their communities.